Cognitive research shows that actually mixing practice problems helps students much better than doing type A and a bunch of type A problems and then a bunch of type B problems and a bunch of type C problems. Students learn much better if you mix up those problems. And this doesn't just have to be math. It could be definition questions for science. It could be history terms. But you want to help students mix them up. Again, this sounds difficult, and it is. It's a desirable difficulty that helps students discriminate what they know and helps them to separate things out and bridge gaps and make sense. If they're only learning one thing at a time, and then they move on to a next set, and then they move on to a next set, things become very compartmentalized. By mixing questions around, students are forced to discriminate, forced to compare and contrast what they're learning with different questions or different concepts, and it helps them learn over the long term. So an example from fourth grade mathematics, uh, in this example, students were learning prisms and then how to calculate the number of faces, edges, um, corners, and so on. And here, there were two groups. So students either learned all of the faces formula questions, then all of the edges, then all of the corners, then all of the angles, or students work through problems that were mixed up. Uh, what I call interleaved is, is the jargony term in research. Uh, and again, we're looking at how students did either at the end of their learning session or at the end of one week. Uh, I'm sorry, one day. Yes, one day. Um, so here you'll see, similar to our spaced practice, if you're looking right at the end of learning, at the end of the learning session, Blocked practice, doing all the faces, all the corners, all the edges, helped me perform 100%. And mixing all those questions up kind of makes it hard. But even after just a day, again, you see this huge difference between students who blocked all of those questions and students who learned by mixing or interleaving those questions. Almost, again, double, uh, double an increase in learning from students who interleaved or mixed all of those questions. So how do you encourage interleaved practice in classroom. You could, for instance, discuss interleaved problems in class. So you could first make sure that students are working through mixed problems, but then call on one student to work on a mixed problem and call on another to answer a different kind of problem. Simply sort of jumping back and forth between problems is a good way to do it without having to necessarily have a written quiz or exam. If you're assigning practice problems, I know from my own experience in algebra and calculus, teachers would assign problems out of the book, and I would just sit and do them. I'd check my answer at the back of the book, and I'd be done. Try to encourage students, especially in homework assignments, to mix up those problems. Now, there may be a little more difficulty with this one. Students may still default to, well, I'm just going to do all of this kind of problem and all of that kind of problem. But for instance, try to assign problems from different chapters. If they're learning concepts from one chapter and concepts from another, ask them to mix those up. Or ask them to mix up different concepts across different math chapters. Uh, and again, all of these strategies work as a teacher or work for your own learning and work for your students. Encourage students to try doing this themselves. Again, it's going to seem difficult, but it really does help them learn over the long term. Mm -hmm.